What is up guys, Torvir324 here back again with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Finn. Never really was a big Star Wars fan. Uh, I only had like, I think I remember one figure. It was a 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, Dark Vader with a removable helmet. That's the only thing that I remember. Um, since the new movie's coming out in December, I wanted to try these Black Series figures. Now looking around the box, you can see here's the description. Pause if you want to read it. He is number one out of the five figures in the wave. So yeah, so let's get this guy out of packaging. Haven't watched any Star Wars films. I know it's crazy. Uh, it's kind of crazy for me doing a review of this, but being my first six inch Star Wars figure, I was kind of impressed on how nice and detailed these figures were. The one accessory that Finn has is a plasma gun. It looks like a regular gun with a silver scope and tip. The gun has decent weathering and I just wish it had more paint detail to it but we'll never get that with a Hasbro figure. But nonetheless it's a nice looking gun. It could fit in his right hand which is his gun holding hand and not so well on the left unless if you want you could wedge that in there. Now from top to bottom look, uh, he looks really cool. I really like the new outfits that they use for this movie. It looks pretty basic with the all black pants and the all black shirt. But the jacket, really like the nice dark yellow color to it. And the hints of red. Now for the detail, from certain angles his head, which is a really nicely sculpted head, it looks fine, but when you look at it directly straight on, he has this weird ass smurf, uh, smirk on his face, which I really don't know if he's evil or not, so I think that's a telltale sign. I'm not sure. For the rest of the body, detail wise, his jacket is nicely uh, textured here. Being all black, there's not really much going on. The pants here, they look like regular pants. They have pockets, and kind of looks a little more like cargo pants. Uh, going down to the leg, it has a nice fade to white look to it. I really like that slow fade to white and it goes down to his nice shoes which I think the outfit looks perfect and has some peg holes at the bottom if you want to peg them all into a base here. Now his shirt has some nice indenting, has some nice texture to it. It's an all black shirt. Uh, you can see right there. Now his jacket here has some hints of red, really like the wrinkles to it. I wish it had a little bit more paint detail on the pouches here and also on the back. Looks pretty nice. Now for his articulation, first thing I want to show you what type of uh, uh, head we're working with. It is a ball hinge head, that's what I call it. So you can get some dynamic poses here. But it kind of struggles since it, there's like a lip to the back so that's how far his head can look up. Uh, it can look down pretty much um, that far. It could rotate all the way around. Now his arms here, they do rotate all the way around. They can go in and out right here. They bend at the elbow, they rotate at the elbow. Now his hands here, uh, these are the weird looking hands. This is the gun holding hand that I was talking about. It doesn't go in and out, but the joint here, it rocks up and down. With the left hand is different, it goes in and out just like so. His torso here, it can rotate all the way around. It can go down and back, down that far, back that much. It's a little loose, so you want to kind of uh, play with it uh, for it to be loose. His legs go forward that far, back that much. He has in and out movement. His thighs can rotate all the way around. He has double jointed knees, which can bend all the way. It can collapse that much, which is really cool, really f good for those dynamic poses. His feet can point down all the way. Uh, not so much up that far, but that's how the highest it can go. And it has the beautiful Hasbro ankle pivot. For size comparison, here he is with the 6-inch Iron Man figure. Uh, you can see he is really short. I was really surprised when I compared these two because this guy is really short. I know they're not in the same universes, but um, for a 6-inch figure, this guy is pretty small. 
Now, I just wanted to try these figures out. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the articulation. Decent sculpt, decent paint job. Uh, mine, I didn't get any paint slobs or anything. No paint issues. Everything's fine and dandy. Now, I'm not really a big Star Wars fan, but I'll try uh, to get these figures in hand since the only one that I saw was Finn and Chewbacca. I'll try to get Chewbacca next time if I want to. But nonetheless, he's a great figure if you want um, a Finn action figure. For me, it's so-so. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys like it. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And that is it, guys. Tour of your signing out. Peace.